what's going on collectors optical 20 back for another video review this time it's darth maul from hot toys and it's dx16 and you can purchase this figure at bigbadtoystore.com just click the link down below they only ask for four dollar shipping and they double box the figure so you don't have to worry about you know your mailman crushing it or your ups guy or fedex guy so yeah check out the link they got other hot toys and other figures as well so this because this is a deluxe figure it comes with a fancier box as you can see here this reflective red material again if i had a bigger display case i would definitely display my dark ball you know right next to this one it's just beautiful i love dx figures man they they should do more they should do this more often i think this this there's there's two versions of this dark mode one with a speeder and one that doesn't this one is the one with no speeder i don't know man i just i just have so many figures that i just don't know where to put that you know speeder bike if i ever buy that plus it's almost like 130 dollars more so again i mean if if i'm creating a scene or you know taking pictures of him i just don't see myself using that speeder bike a lot more than maybe one or two shots you know in, the, in the, the, this video that and then again you know what other scene i can recreate to take advantage of that speeder bike but you know if you do have the space go ahead and do so and this is the extra head sculpt if you are not familiar with dx you know like boxes and all that stuff that is the deluxe version so you see a lot of foams in here that is the extra head sculpt that comes with this figure and everything is like neatly assorted it's, it's not nothing like the the uh, movie masterpiece i don't even know if they still use that that term you know uh, do you guys know from mms from hot toys maybe movie masterpiece series i know i haven't seen the logo you know with a star and you know all that good stuff but again you know this is uh, and normally when you talk about the x figure you do talk about purse so that is a beauty that you know i haven't seen since uh jack sparrow and you know the the only exception i would say that does have a purse and it's not a dx was batman returns which is oddly enough that should have been a dx because it has all the quality of being a dx outside of you know, i think you got a swappable face plate as well so they, they you know i i sold that figure that figure can't move for shit so and then you see this uh nice trace inside um beautiful yeah the, the base is okay i wouldn't say it's beautiful typically when you talk about dx they got they got some fancy base some light of feature and whatnot this you know kind of feels like electro <laughs> but uh yeah it comes with assortment of hands and some i guess that's the speeder bike hands and this is the the binocular hands i want to call these the open palm the uh, force hands uh and then he comes with this different i, I don't know like glove section for controlling the uh, binoculars and another that is the open one which you can open up so you can insert it with this uh the light of feature because this one has like a cut like a seam in the middle which you can kind of stretch out and put it back on so that that works kind of seamless so to speak whenever you're going to use the light of functionality between and he does come with two light up arms one is holding the dual saber and one just when it was broken in half so again goodies man it's it's dx deluxe figure man that is what you get and you don't lose any quality you know you do lose some mobility when you are using this forearm and it's nice for displaying the figure you know i, I wouldn't say when taking a picture because you can easily easily photoshop this this effect um you know you don't need to be a graphic designer to do that but uh like if you're displaying him in in your cabinet and you have some company over or, or you just want to see the light goes on so that is one piece that you might want to have and this is the uh, binoculars that he does come with uh forgive me if i don't know some of the terms here i tried watching episode one again the other day you know kind of just refresh my memory because i know I'm gonna, i was gonna do this review i was excited for the figure because i always I, i'm always fascinated with the character of darth maul i think he's one of the you know the the better characters in in the series even though he was short-lived in the movies at least um you know but he was badass and you know i had some fun memories of him when i was in college and all that stuff so uh it, it was fun it was fun so this is this figure is something some i couldn't wait because he just has so many moves and you can see the hilt on his uh i guess this is the dual this is the dual saber you can actually connect them together um and then if you separate them there's like a piece that you insert at the bottom 
right this one right here so it would look solid and it doesn't look like you know it's just a, pre a pretty good move by hot toys let's just put it this way back in the day they would probably give us two hilts uh but now they kind of learn so they just kind of like put them together and you, know, you just put that piece in the back which probably wouldn't be too bad if they gave us two you know lightsabers or whatever so but yeah i don't know if they saved us the money but it's it's pretty cool that you can connect them disconnect them you know at will so less accessories i suppose you know better for your storage compartment so and these are the effects that some people doesn't like I, I was surprised this is the first time i'm getting this lightsaber kind of moving uh stuff right here and it's it's quite hefty you know it has some weight to it so uh it's nice you know I, it's a welcome addition this is the first time i've had it it's uh it's not as bad as i thought it would be but it's it's a little heavier than i thought it would be though but these are the two sabers um, we've seen them before and this is the stand who has the two textures one's the shiny one at the bottom part it's more like textury um materials in there so it's okay the hole in the middle is for the speeder which i don't have and that's the bendy pole and this is the scout drone maybe beautifully crafted i would say you know it's uh nice to stand up right next to the figure although it, it kind of reminds me of that interrogation interrogator drone by vader that i had in the new hope which is uh that was problematic because i last there's, there's a lot of things going on there and every time i touch it it just falls all, all over the place but this one looks uh pretty decent and looks like it could hold on you see that you see that transition right there I, i'm i'll be practicing that i I don't know why I did that. It has no relations whatsoever. Uh, so the figure itself, I'm not going to do my typical, you know, up and down. There's really nothing here. It's just black. You know, they're, they're com a lot of people complain about the robe, but I, I, this is the outfit. Yeah. I'm no Star Wars expert. I mean, it's, you know, it looks good to me. You know, he moves freely with all these clothing. Uh, the robe has a little bit of uh, wires on him. That's all that matters to me, man. You can, you can put the hilt in here, the lightsaber. Those little buttons, the one that you see, uh, they have replacement for them, but they're a pain in the ass, honestly. So whenever you just keep in mind, if you're like holding him on the waist or something, try to avoid them because it sticks to your finger and they're, they're being connected by glue. And it's uh, it's just a pain. They're too small. And yeah, I just you know, I, I lost some of my John Wick. I lost one. I used a spare one. But gluing them on the suit itself is already a task. So try to avoid them as much as you could. And this is the beautiful head sculpt by Hot Toys. You can see the texture. It is just gorgeous in my opinion. The, the when the light hits it, you can see the the you know the the mid tones, the highlights and all that stuff the um his horns are a bit pointy though so you gotta be careful man or if you got kids at home be careful not to drop this because this is being connected via magnet so every once in a while if you are not careful you know like you're kind of like being just you know, all over the place you might drop this and you might break one of his horns so you, you just just keep that in mind the magnet is not that for anyone who has not dealt with this you know like the electros and dx11 the i mean dx12 they're, they're not that strong so just just be a little careful this is a closer look on the head sculpt and this one does have purse so you can I, I love purse yeah purse just gives a different dynamic to the head sculpt now if you're into photography or video there's so many you know facial expressions or reaction or scene that you could do because you can move those eyeballs and I love those, man. Like, I don't mind paying something extra just to have that feature every single time. And I know it's not applicable for every figure. But, again, it, it's like changing the eye lenses on your Spider-Man. You know, you can, you can put emotions with him. You can make him look down, make the eyeballs look up so he looks more of a, an evil guy. Or make him look left or right. You know, there's so many things that you could do, and it's amazing. And the price of this guy is not even that expensive. I believe he's what, like 285, which is you know Captain America from Infinity War. If you get the movie promo edition, you get this little uh, spear and a little thing on his base, and it's not, it's not even the same. This has two head sculpt with purse on it. You know, I understand that the costume is not too intricate compared to Cap, but still, man. And this is the uh, alternate head sculpt, which is more of a, uh, an intense look. And a lot of people are saying that it doesn't 
you know, it kind of looks kind of goofy. I don't know, man. I, I like it. I, I really do like it. You know, you combine it with purse. Now, it might not be the most accurate, you know, expression or representation, but I'd rather have this than not have this at all. Because they could have easily been, they, they could have easily stopped at that first head sculpt, charge 285, and people would still buy it. Because it's Star Wars, and I mean, let's face it, it's 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 DX I, I, with a purse, and I thought just one head sculpt would have been enough. But kudos to them for going, you know, above and beyond. I wouldn't say above and beyond, I mean, it's still 285, but still, a second head sculpt, I mean, I, I take it. You know, I think the, uh, the next Darth Maul doesn't have the second head sculpt. I mean, they might. And look at those teeth. You know, let's let's clo moving closer in here. Let's let's do some. Uh, let's make my macro lens work. And so far, uh, it, it looks great, man. I mean, I don't know. Look at those wrinkles in his face. Now, I've seen some comparison videos between this and the sideshow one. I guess the the shape of the face. I would agree that they got the shape better in sideshow, like a slimmer face. This one looks a little bit more chunkier. But if, you know, I'm not that into too much details when it comes to this, trust me, when I take pictures of this, and I, I you know, I will, uh, people will be like, hey, man, that, that is Darth Maul. If you don't know Hot Toys, you'll be like, hey, man, that's the actual actor. And with the versatility of the, the purse, I don't know if they still call it purse. I mean, it's it's there's no contest right there. I mean, if you want to keep your sideshow version, I mean, by all means, that's not a bad figure whatsoever. I just, I'm just saying, because people tend to do that if they have... You know, like, I, I love some of my figures as well, but you can't say that something's better if it's, you know, not every new version is better, but, you know, the technology change and, you know, for example, the Batman, the BVS Batman, and there's like a, you know, they keep on saying they, the design might be better, you know, but you're not going to say that it's better overall value-wise. The I mean, the Justice League Batman comes with a head sculpt. You know, you might not like the cowl, how it looks like, but, but you know, it's a preference thingy. But some people are compelled to sway you that, man, because they already own the figure. I mean, I don't think the BBS is better than Justice League. You know, it might have a, you know, the, the design might suit you more. But I don't know if you could call it better than Justice League. It's, I don't know. That's a touchy subject, man. People are going to be like, they're going to downvote this video now. But whatever. And this is Darth Maul. I don't know why I went with a dim light, honestly. But I think I'm just trying to showcase the lightsaber, which is... <laughs> The light wasn't too bright anyway, but I love this figure. Uh, I didn't, you know, as, as you know, guys, I don't do a lot of articulation, but this guy are, is fully articulated. I mean, the costume would not hinder that whatsoever. You can do whatever pose you want, even though the, the leg is more like a ratchet joint. But I love this. You know, I mean, you can you can recreate any battle scene, you know, whatever your heart desires, basically. You don't need to, I mean, hopefully somebody's going to do a Fison body swap again with this guy, you know, because... I don't know. I just don't have a, a good experience with Fison. But I, I see why they do that. I just don't like, you know, like if it's no purpose whatsoever. But here he is with the light underneath. Again, I don't know why I'm shooting it in the dark with a dark figure. I just decided, you know what? I'm going to go to the living room and just, just shoot this guy. Uh, use my, you know, like a, a showcase a 360. I'm tired of like doing that. Sometimes I do, but when a figure is like this, where it's, you can pose him however you want, you know, there's figures where it's just like, a, it, you can only pose so much, but if somebody like this, you gotta shoot him in the dark, you know, so the, the, the viewers can't see what you're doing, and it's mysterious that way. No, really, my, my intentions was to show the lightsaber. It didn't translate well into this video, obviously. But, you know, you know what I mean here. You you get the gist of the pose. It's uh, he's jumping with a dual lightsaber. And he's he's obviously wielding it. That's why you can see the motion blur on those lightsabers. Yeah, be careful. You Don't pose him too much with those, those things. Because they're quite heavy. And I feel the stress. Especially on the light. Because the light up uh, arm, it's kind of loose when it comes to the wrist portion so i don't know if you want to put all those heavy weights in there this this is fine yeah there's little to no weight in this uh lightsaber effects uh but yeah this is good like he's about to stab someone and uh he's really meditating and he used the force uh to push off this guy yet he's still you know trying to i don't know what he's doing here i'm just I guess I got tired of posing him. You know, I, I don't really have anyone to have him fight over. I don't have uh, <laughs> Obi-Wan 
which is I want to, but I had a good call on that because I, I didn't pre-order. I didn't. I did pre-order them, but I canceled them because there's so many things going on and I just can't pay them off all the time, all at the same time. So, you know, I was like, okay, I'll, maybe I'll pick you up towards Christmas time if you're still around. If not, then it is what it is. You know, I'm not gonna lose sleep over a figure, uh, especially uh, quite. I mean, uh, Obi Wan. Yeah, it is. But some high comparison with some bad guys that I do love. Uh, him, Rex to Anakin, which is pretty much the same height. And Vader is just, you know, he's seven feet tall. So, and then right here to Boba, another famous villain from the Star Wars universe. Uh, Darth Maul is, yeah, he's just badass, man. He looks badass. He acts like one of the moves that he does. His lightsaber is. Everything about him, man. I mean... It's you gotta have him. You gotta have him. So this is what you're getting. First and foremost, he's a DX figure. So you gotta have him. I'm telling you right now. There's a lot of figures that you know. I I don't praise Hot Toys. Uh, I I'm, I'm not one of those guys. But I call it what it is. If I think the figure deserves to be bought, I'll I'll tell you. I'll tell you when to skip. Um, you know that's my opinion, obviously. But in my opinion, this is one of the, the better Hot Toys out there, value wise as well. The character is great. You know, we all know how how cool he is. But outside of that, I mean, you got two head sculpt with purse. Yes, the, the outfit could be better, I suppose. Uh, you see this, uh, this hoodie that he does have. It's a little baggy, but I mean, maybe put a water treatment on it. I don't know. But I'm overall, I'm happy with it. I, I even wanted to get with a bike if I didn't have any, any you know, issues as far as storage is concerned. But if you don't, go with a bike. I mean, it's $120. Go with it, man. It's a beautiful figure. And uh, yeah, let me know in the comments down below. Is this something that you're going to pick up or you're going to wait for the other Darth Maul? Or are you going to pick up the bike version? So yeah, let me know. What do you think about this figure? Are you going to complement this with another figure or are you just going to leave him as it is? Yeah, uh, let me know. Uh, and Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. You know, give a thumbs up to this to this video if you liked it. Or if you don't, give it the thumbs down. Hopefully you do. But I'll see you guys in the next review.